In the first part of the CMS walkthrough, we connected our Notion database, which contained our blog articles and presented it on a Type Dream page through CMS. Now, we are going to explore some of the settings we can tweak to get this blog to its desired form. To edit a collection, select it and click on Edit Collection in the sidebar. In the Settings menu, you can add filters and sorting orders. You can also limit how many items will be displayed in a collection before visitors would have to click on a Show More button to see the rest. If we go down here to the search section, we can show a search bar, so let's go ahead and do that. In the field section, you can change which columns in your Notion table are applied to which of the fields in the CMS. Now if you go to the template section, this is where you would change the way a collection looks. Here, we have the same selection of templates you can switch to. But if you look on the top right corner, you can see a customize button. When we click on that, you can see a mini editor pop up. This mini editor works the same as a regular Type Dream editor. What's different about this editing space, however, is that you can pull data from Notion and assign it to a placeholder element. For example, I can add another line of text here and have it display the estimated reading time for each article. First, I'll highlight the placeholder text, then go to the Advanced tab and tick Get Text from Data. I'll write Time as the label and select Reading Time as the corresponding column on Notion. If we exit the Settings menu and go to the Item Page view, this one with the little database icon in the front, you'll see all the different blog articles. To edit how the item pages will look, you need to go to Settings in the top right corner. You can choose from existing templates, but let's go ahead and click on Customize here too. So in here, everything you put in here will look the same for each blog entry. However, this gray box here, where it says Rich Text Content, you'll have to manually fill in for each article. To edit Rich Text Content, we need to go back to the Edit Items menu and click on Edit Item in an Entry. Things that I type or put in here will appear in the space where the gray box was whereas things in the item template is for dates, titles, descriptions, etc. Rich text content will be for the actual meat of the article. Recently, we also rolled out a feature that would allow you to import content directly from Notion. All you need to do is click on the three dots next to where it says rich text content, import from current Notion page, and import content. On the left-hand side, you'll also see that we have different properties for this particular item page or block article, like the slug, as well as the metadata options. When published, this is what our blog looks like. This here is the collection view, and when I click, say, on this article, it'll take me to an item page. All of this here is the rich text content we added in earlier, and it's different for each article. The convenient aspect about CMS is that you don't need to go into the editor to make a change and republish every time you add or delete or change a blog entry. For instance, if I delete this article on my Notion and hit refresh on the published page, you can see that the article automatically disappears. We've created a blog on TypeDream using CMS templates and some minor adjustments here and there. But what if you wanted to build out your own collection view from scratch without any of our presets? Let's try that out as well. I'm going to create a new page and type slash collection. Now here at the bottom, I can click on start from scratch. It's going to tell me to choose which Notion database to connect to, so let's reuse the blog table from earlier. It will automatically load the collection, skipping the steps in between. Now all we have to do is click on the collection, go to Edit Collection, and tidy things up under a Template, then Customize Current Template. Thanks for following along, and let us know in the comments what you're building with TypeDream CMS. See you next time!